What's up, weirdos? We're back in subsistence for episode two, and day one uh, was pretty much a success. Uh, we are getting kind of hungry, though, as you can see, so we're going to have to go hunting. Uh, I also need to get a chest built. Now, we're missing some nails, and I think we have enough fiber to make enough cordage for it. Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, we just need three more cordage, and I think we have enough to make that. Yeah, there you go. So there's three cordage. So the only thing we're missing right now for a storage crate is nails. We just need two more. So we're going to be heading on out in search of nails as well as doing some hunting because uh, we're, we're in desperate need of some chickens and rabbits. Uh, we're also going to need a bandage. Uh, and as of right now, we have no bandage. Uh, we're going to need one more cloth to make one because I always like to have a bandage on me in case something bad happens. Now we could rip our pants into rags and that would allow us to make bandages, but we're not going to do that. We're going to hold off. Uh, I'm going to grab my water here and I'm going to throw some more wood in the fire. Now we, we have to stay pretty close uh, to the base, pretty close to the fire to make sure we top this off. Alright, so we're going to head on out. Now there's some wolves around us, as you can see. There's one over here and there's also one down on the other side and there's a bear down here too we might have to hang out by the fire for just a little bit actually you know what we, we got to get moving yeah I, I can't uh, I can't screw around we got to get moving uh, that's, that's not a fiber I thought there was a fiber for a second all right hopefully there's some nails in here oh yes okay beautiful all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here And we're going to go ahead and stand by the fire for just a little bit. Hopefully it warms up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and make a storage crate. Because that's something we really need right now. Uh, we do have two arrows. I'd like to get a few more. Uh, we do have the feathers for it. And uh, we got sticks also. We're going to need some more nails for that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and place my storage crate up here. And that should just pop into our hot bar. There we go. All right, and we're just going to set that right there. So just in case we die or something bad happens, we'll have all this stuff in here. Um, put the scrap in there, the tree grub. You know what, I'm going to have to eat that. It's going to give me a little bit of protein, but not much. All right, and uh, we'll throw all this stuff in here. Tomato seeds we'll throw in there. I'm going to keep this on me. I'm going to keep the nails on me. I'm going to keep the cloth on me in case we get a bandage. Okay, and everything else for making sticks. Alright. So, we're going to have to head on out, and we're got to, we really got to find some chickens. We're in desperate need right now. I'm hoping I didn't kill them all. Oh, wait, here's something. Here's a rabbit. Alright. Cannot afford to miss this shot. Beautiful. Alright, that's a good start right there. I'm going to grab him, and you know what? I'm sorry, little bunny, but I need your food. I need your flesh, your meat. I'm going to eat you. We're going to need a lot more than just this one bunny. All right, toss that in there, cook that up. You can see we are in the red. It, this game is so difficult when you're starting off. This is one of the hardest games to start off in. But boy, it is rewarding. If you do it right, it is very rewarding. Um, I don't usually die in this game unless I'm killed by the hunters. I'm usually pretty good at avoiding the uh, the wolves and the bears. I don't think I've ever starved to death, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Alright, this is almost cooked. Just a little bit longer. I should probably top that fire off too. It, it goes down so fast, guys. Super, super fast. Toss this back in here. Alright, there we go. Eat this. And yeah, that didn't give us much. Alright, uh, how many nails do we have? We have one nail and we have one arrow. So that is not good. I do see some scrap over here I'm going to grab. Okay. I see a crate over there. Now there was a wolf down this way. I think he's over in the water over there. So I think we're okay. We just come over here. Let's hope there's uh, some good stuff in here. Hopefully some nails. 
Yes! Thank you! Thank you, game! Alright, we're gonna make some arrows. Um, we're gonna have to make some more sticks, too. Okay, that's fine. We'll hit up a few trees. Now, how do I get down here without getting hurt? Uh, I think we can get down here. Zigzag our way down. Gotta be very careful, because you do take fall damage in this game. It's very easy to hurt yourself. Uh, let's see. Grab our axe. We're gonna grab a little bit of wood. Again, I can't go too far away from our fire. Until we get our BCU set up, uh, we're gonna have to, uh, stay pretty close to the base. Not because I'll get lost, but because of the fire. It goes out so fast. And I like to have a, a wood burner going instead. Right, so we'll go ahead and get up a few more trees, make a few more sticks, make some more arrows. I usually like to have about 10 arrows on me. Now we're not going to have that to start. There we go. Make four sticks. We'll grab this uh, this crate over here. Uh, oh, there's a couple crates. All right, blueberry. That'll be helpful. And you see the stuff that is on the rocks? That is ore. We can mine that. I'm going to hold off on that though. Once I get a pickaxe, I'll go and uh, start mining that stuff. But until then, I don't think I have to. Alright, we're getting kind of lucky here. There's a decent amount of crates. Let's see what we need for a pickaxe. Um, we're going to need four boards. Okay, so that's achievable. I'll just have to hit up a few more trees. A lot of this wood is going to go to the fire. Alright, and we're also going to hit up that grub tree right there. Because that's going to give us six wood. It's also going to give us a tree grub. If we're in desperate times, we will eat one. It does make you thirsty, though. I'm trying to see if there's any more crates around. Any crates over on the other side of the water? Eh, I'm not seeing any. I do want to explore that part of the map, though. I, I don't really know that very well. So I do want to go over there. I gotta get used to this toggle sprint. I'm so used to just holding it down. Alright, the fiber right there. More nails. Okay, good. We should be able to do some building today, too. First things first, though, we need food. All right, let's come up here, top off our fire, and then we're going to go hunting again. Now, I could take down a wolf. I have the ammo to do it, but I'd prefer not to, simply because I want to save that ammo. All right, uh, the cordage can go in here. All this stuff can go in here. Uh, I'm going to make a few more arrows. That should give us about nine. Alright, and then we'll throw everything else in here. Uh, oh, I can make a bandage, too. Alright, uh, go on, go to that. Craft that up. Alright, we're up to 14 scrap. That's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and eat a couple blueberries. We'll leave one in here. And uh, the rest of this stuff can just go in here. That'll be fine. Okay. So let's hope we can find some chickens. Or rabbits. Rabbits are nice because they give you uh, cloth, so that's helpful. We got a bear over there on the right. Couple bears. Hopefully they're not gonna mate, and then there will be more bears. That'd be funny if if that happened. Oh, we got a level three something over here. What is that? I think it's a wolf. I can't even see it, guys. I don't know where it went. I think I saw a crate down this way, too. It was just the angle. There's so many bushes here, it's so hard to tell. I could be wrong. Now, stamina's definitely going to be an issue today. Yeah, there's a wolf down there. Level 3 wolf. Okay. Let's hope we find maybe a protein bar or something like that. Here's a crate. 
All right, give me something good. All right, nails. Nails is always good. So we're pretty close to the water, which is nice. I see some scrap down there. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Yeah, you can see our stamina is just going to drain. It's going to be one of those days, guys. It's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. I do see another crate down this way. I see a couple crates down this way. Let's just hope that bear stays over there. Oh, chicken. Oh, don't run away, chicken. Now, you can't shoot the chickens anymore uh, with the gun. It'll just... Uh, completely mutilate them, so don't do that. Alright, got this chicken. Beautiful. Got this big tree over here I'm gonna hit up. Let's grab this crate first. Oh, couple arrows. Good. Yeah, that bear's just kind of staying over there. I might be able to get those other crates. Alright, we also got a tree grub here, so I'm going to go ahead and eat that, because we really need the protein. Again, you can see it's not giving us much, but it's just enough. Just enough. You know what's more important, the crate or the fiber? The crate. The crate is much more important. Alright, some scrap, a board. I don't think we're going to be able to get this other bag. That bear is just a little close. I could try to crouch. Oh, yeah, he's walking towards us. Yeah, it's not going to happen. All right, what do we got over here? A wolf over here on the left. Yep, yep. We're going to have to start moving. He's growling. That mean, when, when he growls once, that means he sees you. When he growls twice, he's coming towards you. So you better start moving. All right, bear over there. Let's see if we can make it back. We do have one chicken that we can eat. Again, I'd like to get a couple... That would be uh, kind of helpful. Got a crate up here. There is a bear also. I don't want to get too close. Can I get the crate, please? Oh, got some rifle ammo there. All right. Let's see if there's any more crates. Is that one up there? There's some scrap right here. We'll grab that. Okay, good. Boy, this game is so tough, guys. Sometimes I'm a little bit quieter in this game than in other games, simply because I don't want to run into anything like that. Yeah, that wolf. Don't want to run into the wolf. Or the bear. Or the mountain lions. Alright. Let's go ahead and Toss some more wood in here. We'll go ahead and throw the chicken in there. And we're going to be right back to where we were, unfortunately. Oh, man, we got to find some more chickens. I really don't want to take down that wolf if I don't have to. I can put my bandage down into one. Okay, and then we're going to throw all this stuff in here, too. Got some biofuel and some nails, so that's good. Okay. We might have to take down that wolf. Okay, food is ready to go. Go ahead and eat that. Again, it's not going to give us much. So we need to venture out in this direction. Well, we could go in this direction. There wasn't much that way, so maybe let's try going this way. Let's try the other side of the river. Maybe there will be some chickens over there. It, we may be in a bad area. I don't know. Because we are kind of close to the edge of the map. Oh, uh, there's a wolf right there. Okay. Have to go around. Gotta go up through here. I hope there's... Oh, there's a bear. Oh, boy. Alright, and he's kind of coming towards us. I'm going to have to run in between. Oh! Oh, what's that? That's a rabbit. All right. The rabbit's going to stay over on this little island. We see if we can get him. He's right there. I really need you, bunny. Alright. Looking pretty good. Let's 
go ahead and cook up the rabbit since we're pretty close. Oh, can we get up here? Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, we're okay. That wolf is just a little bit too close for comfort right now. Don't take any liking to my base there, wolf. He's just getting himself a little drink right now. Now, if, the, if they are chasing you and you're near your base, you can jump up on the platform and they will run away. We're okay right now. Sorry, bunny. Uh, let's see. Cloth. Just one cloth. Okay. No big deal. We'll eat the bunny and then we're going to head down in that direction. Hopefully get some more. We can grab the ash. We can use that for farming later on in the game. And my goodness, this is already getting pretty full. I might have to get another crate. Wow. Alright, so we are getting loot. We are getting loot. We have to top this off again. I always like to have at least 20 logs before I go to bed. Throw that back in there. Rabbit is almost cooked. There we go. Alright, that's a little bit better. We're into the yellow now. I'd really like to get that up to green. Yeah, that wolf, you're just you're just a little close, buddy. You might be dinner later on. There's a lot of animals around here, guys. And not in a good way. Predators. Wolves, bears, you name it. Maybe this isn't a very good place to build. Well, we will, uh, we'll deal with it. That's what we're going to have to do, is just deal with it. Got a bear over there on the right. I think if we go this way, we should be okay. I have my gun just in case. Oh, rabbit. Oh, don't go in there. I won't be able to see you. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get a few more. I'm not seeing any chickens this way. I do see a grub tree, though. I'm going to hit up the grub tree. Again, lots of ore. There's iron, potassium, copper. We're going to hold off on getting all that stuff, though. Once we got that pickaxe, I think I'm going to try to get a pickaxe by the end of the day. Let's see how much wood that we have. I, I don't know. We'll have to look. Um, yeah, we're going to need a little bit more. I think we need at least four boards. I think, I think we have everything else we need. So whenever we get home, we can build that. All right, let's go ahead and craft up some boards. Pretty sure we have enough now. One, two, three, four. There we go. Beautiful. Alrighty, another grub tree over here. We'll hit this up. These sticks, can we grab these? No. I wish we could grab the sticks. Throw those in the fire. That would be nice. There's some different textures over here on this part of the map. I'm not used to it. It's throwing me off a little bit because I'm never over on this side of the map. Alright, grab the medicinal. Got a bear. No, is that a... that's a piggy. Yeah, so that's a uh, level 2 boar right there. Now they won't charge us unless we shoot at them. Alright, got some more nails. And a protein bar. I'm going to eat it. There we go. Good. Let's see if there's any more crates around here. There's a rabbit. Okay. Let's let him settle down. He's right over by that bush. Oh, no, he's right over by that tree. Wow, he ran a long way, didn't he? Blueberry right there. All right, I think we need to get some higher ground in order to see him. This is the fence. 
This is the edge of the map. Um, maybe in the future it'll be expanded. I don't know. I, I don't know what the uh, the developer plans to do, but uh, he has expanded the map quite a bit since the beginning of the game when he first um, first published it. So maybe there's going to be some more uh, some more map coming. That would be pretty cool. All right. There you are. I'm going to get you. There's another rabbit, so we're looking pretty good there. Uh, let's see. I saw a fiber around here. Here we go. Grab that. Hit up another tree. I see another grub tree down there. We could go for that. We might see some more crates. Right now, we are about midday, maybe a little past midday. The days go pretty quick in this game. Probably about 30 minutes, maybe less. So you got to get out and get moving. Get as much looting done as you can. Get as much hunting done as you can. Now, eventually, we'll be able to get a fridge set up, and that will make things a lot easier. But until then, it's going to be it's going to be a bit of a grind. I'm going to have to go hunting every day. And if we don't get food, then we're going to starve. It's as simple as that. we got a crate down here. Let's grab it. See what we got. Okay. We're also going to have to worry about hunters, too. Once we set that BCU, uh, the hunters will start to move in the area within the first few days. It's usually like a few days, and then the first camp moves in, and then a few days later, another camp. A few days after that, the third camp. There's also rogue camps, which will move around. So you never know where they're going to be, so they're always kind of tricky to, to make sure you're avoiding. The hunter camps are pretty easy to see. Pretty easy to spot. They're territorial, so you don't want to get too close to their base. But, if you avoid them, they won't bother you. As long as you have revenge attacks only. Oh, oh, that bear saw us. Hello, Mr. Bear. Let's come over here, get this crate. More scrap, more electrical parts. Okay. Yeah, that bear is just a little too close right now. I'm gonna keep moving. All right, there's another crate. Crates are tough to spot sometimes. You just have to have an eye for it, and uh, you'll develop that over time as you get used to the game. Uh, fibers and stuff like that are pretty tough to find. Uh, I like to go around the trees when I'm hitting them up just so I can see what, what's out there, see if there's any more crates, see if there's any chickens, stuff like that. I see a crate down there, I think. Is that a crate? That is a crate. Alright, let's make sure that bear's not over here. We could go fishing at some point. I don't think I did any fishing in the last season. We'll do more this season because we're right next to the water right here. This is a pretty cool area though. It's a heck of a view. Look at that view. That is beautiful. Let's see how we're doing on uh, food. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to eat. I'd like to get maybe two more rabbits. I think that'll get us through the day and the night. If we can get maybe two more rabbits or two more chickens, it'd feel a lot better. Because I really don't like having to hunt first thing in the morning. Alright, another crate up here. I always stop and look around for predators. You, you have to. There's so many in this game. And uh, they're what on normal they start uh, between levels one and level three, and they can go all the way up to I think level ten. So you do not want to mess with the animals unless you know you can kill them. All right, any more crates?
I'm not seeing anything. Oh, here's one. Go ahead and grab this. Alright, more blueberries. I'm going to go ahead and eat all these. That's going to bring up our vegetables pretty much to the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right. Nice. All right. And I see something up here. I think that's a bear. Yeah, it's a bear. All right. We're going to avoid the bear. There's a wolf down here. It's later in the day, so I don't want to... Oh, our fire. We're probably... Yeah, our fire probably burned out by now. We can head back. The good news is I do have uh, one fire starting kit on us, but I'm thinking our fire burned out. And if it hasn't, it's going to be very low. So let's check. We did top it off about midday. Got some more scrap here. All right, get the gun out just in case. Any wolves? No, and the fire is still going. All right. Do this real quick. Oh yeah, it's getting pretty low. All right, toss that in there. We're all good. Um, let's cook up some food. Sorry, bunny. Man, we got a lot of rabbits today. I don't think we got a single chicken. Maybe one. I think we got one chicken. All right, we'll toss all this stuff in here. Uh, we could probably make that pickaxe now. Let's see. What do we need for that? We need four scrap, two cordage. All right, and then we need that. So let's go ahead and craft this up. I'm gonna eat the protein bar, uh, the cloth. Yeah, I'm gonna make another bandage because those are really important. All right, we'll toss all this stuff in here. Okay. There we go, we got a pickaxe now, right down here in our hot bar. And we're up to three bandages. And we're gonna eat and bring our proteins pretty much all the way up. That's pretty good right there. I'm going to go ahead and drink, and we're going to go back for just a little bit more hunting. That wolf is over there right now, so we're okay. We're going to go ahead and fill this up with water. Again, we got to put this on the fire because it is not purified. It's nasty water. Y you would think Mountain Stream... It wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be uh, that bad to drink, but um, I guess it is. You never know. There there could be like a deer carcass in the middle of the <laughs> in the middle of the stream, and you're drinking from it. Yeah, it's probably not good. All right, a little bit more wood right there. We're probably gonna have to get another uh, another uh, storage crate built. Let's see if we can find maybe one more chicken. One more chicken is all I need. One more chicken, one more rabbit. Either is fine. The bear is not something I want to mess with. It's getting dark, guys. When it starts to get dark, it gets dark quick. So you got to be ready for it. Alright, there's a wolf down there. No chickens or rabbits, though. Bear. Okay, that's not good. There is a crate over here, though. Oh, man, this bear... This is probably a terrible idea, guys. Oh, okay. He saw us. Oh, man, I, I really want to go for this crate, but this is not a good idea. I have nowhere to run. Alright. Run. <laughs> run. There's another crate right here. Alright. There we go. Looking good. And it is getting dark. And oh. 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 We gotta get you. We gotta get you. Come on. Please stay still. Good. Got a chicken. And I'm feeling a lot better. Now, I don't know where that wolf went. There's that wolf. Okay. This part's going to be a little dangerous. Because it's hard to see at nighttime. And it's so easy to stumble upon a bear or a wolf. 
Now, at least I know my way back. We just gotta go up here. If you don't know the map well, though, guys, you definitely don't want to go too far away from your base at night. Or during the day, because you'll get lost. You'll definitely get lost. It's a pretty big map. It'll take you a whole day to walk across it. Okay, we are back and safe and sound. We didn't die, so that is good. We'll go ahead and cook up this chicken. Sorry, chicken! And we are in pretty good shape. Let's see. Toss all this stuff in here. I'm definitely going to need another... Another storage crate. I think that's going to have to happen probably next episode, though. I think we'll wait till next episode. I'm going to go ahead and cook this up. And uh, maybe we'll get a wall built or another crate. Or maybe another platform. I think we probably have everything we need for that. Let's uh, go in here real quick. For a platform, we just need five wooden planks. And 12 nails and two cordage. Um, we got the nails and the cordage. Got 67 nails. That's a pretty good day for nails. That's a real good day. And I have enough wood here that I can make some more boards. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Wait on our food to cook. We'll throw a little bit more wood in here. And get ourselves our protein going all the way up. That's beautiful right there. I have one more blueberry in here that I can eat. And we're looking pretty good. That was a, uh, a tough day. But we're, we're in much better shape than we're when we started. So I'm happy about that. I'm going to go ahead and place this wooden uh, foundation right here. As soon as we get all these boards made. And I think I'm just going to put it like right here. I think that's a pretty good spot right there. And it, we'll just kind of build out our base up here. Being too cold decreases your protein meter at a faster rate. Oh, that's good to know. So we're just going to hang out here by the fire for just another minute until we got all our boards ready to go. And we almost do. Almost. Come on. Come on. There we go. Go ahead and craft that up. And I'm going to place that right here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that so we can get this placed. And we can end the episode there. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because uh, that definitely helps my channel. And uh, you'll get notifications every time I put out a new video as long as you tap the bell. So make sure you do that if you're really enjoying the videos. Would love to have you. Anyway, guys, I will see you later. Goodbye.